might be a little bit different than what you're used to, but hey, that's just how I like it. <laughs> Hello, it's uh, been a little while since I've done a deck profile, but, but with the new ban list coming soon, I decided, you know what, I want to push out these deck profiles before something crazy happens and I have to change the entire list. So anyway, we're here with my Cyber Dragon deck profile. So as I said in the start of the video, so it might be a little bit different than what you're used to because I have my own specific playstyle. However, I'd like to say there are some few things I'm going to be taking out in the future. There's some things I want to put in the side deck and just some more cards I want to put into it. However, that's for the future. That's going to happen after the ban list because I don't want to change it and have everything messed up. But anyway, this is the Cyber Dragon deck profile for April 2019. Let's get into it. So we're starting off with Jizukiru and the Sub Alternate. Now you could really choose one or the other. However, I kind of right now anyway like having both of them. Alternate's good to get rid of Thunder Dragons. Jizukiru's goddamn Jizukiru. They're just good cards. Anyway, moving on. Cyber Dragon, Alternative Art, because I love the dark. I just love the darkness. I love the aura. I'm a dark guy. What can I say? Free Galaxy Soldier, by the way, has been reprinted. Still too expensive for me to get because of USD, but great card. Two beer. I kind of wanted to put this down to one. However, it's working at two right now. Free Ash, because hair trap meta, you, know, you kind of need it. Free Core, it's Cyber Dragon. Free Ash, the newest card released in Dual Power. Amazing card, by the way. Amazing card, by the way. I'm so glad this card is finally legal. Too bad it's 20. American dollars a pop, so it's like $30 for me, and I'm not spending that much money on one fucking card, yet alone free. Anyway, Cyber Dragon hurts. Advanced for the monsters. You know, usually I don't put in this much detail, I just read out the names, but I'm just having fun, dude. Now for the spells. I have free overload fusion, because I like the fusion concepts, I like being able to push for games, I like being able to use it for rank fives. It's just a great card. I know a lot of decks only use one of them now, but I just like it at free. Two rev system. A lot of people use one and one monster reborn, but it's searchable, and you kind of have Natch there as well, so I just feel like it's more useful than monster reborn, so yeah. And then, we have free emergency cyber, free machine dupe, if people are running two of us, you need to learn how to play the deck. Two cyber repair plant, I don't see three being needed right now, and then the most controversial card to me right now is called by the grave. It's a good card, especially playing Cyber Dragon because it's heavy combo. I just feel like maybe I want to change it. Maybe I want to put in some impermanences. I'm not too sure, but that's just how it is for now. But one is Cyber Fusion. It's a great card, it's searchable. Quick play, it's great. And then Overflow, the one off trap, which everyone seems to be running nowadays. I put it in before everyone else. I mean, as far as I know, I just thought it was always good to have people like, oh, but you're going first. Bro. Searchable, it's a one off, disrupts your opponent, it's helpful going first and second. Uh, well, not second because if you pop it yourself, but it's a good card. Anyway, now for the extra deck, we have Cyber Eternity Dragon just because I really like this card. There's no other reason than that. I just think it's fun, it's really good. It might not be the best competitively, but it's still theoretically good, and in practice, it can be really good. And it's just fun, and it has a good design, and it's just it's cool, and it was announced on my birthday, so yeah. <laughs> and then we have two Mega Fleet and one Fortress. This, these cards, they hold the deck together in the current meta, if I'm being honest. And then we have two Rampages, because we have the four Fusion spells. And two Infinity for the Dixies, along with two Nova. And it's just a typical lineup. A lot of people are like, uh, why does kind of standard play these? Uh, Natch there is a thing, and I kind of like to resolve its effects, so. Hey. Yeah, it's just how I play. Okay, so for the links, we have Griffin, Summon Sork, Two Seizure, and then a Genius. Now, there are many cards that I've been considering putting in and out of the deck, which could work. However, this is my current build. As I said, uh,. The ban list is coming soon, so this deck could change immensely in the near future. And I'm honestly really looking forward to it. I hope I have to change it a lot, because it's been a little while since I've had to properly change the deck a lot. So, it'll be fun. By the way, next profile will be out on May the 14th, because uh, I just kind of wanted to like release all the deck profiles on my birthday. 
and it's my one year anniversary on the Jace Yu-Gi-Oh channel, so double special day. Anyway, that's it for the deck profile. I explained it all, my choices and all during the profile, which is a little bit different, because usually I like to do it at the end, uh, but hey, I guess this channel is more for personality. I don't fucking know, it's just me having fun. My Jace Yu-Gi-Oh channel is the more serious one, so if you want more serious deck profiles and me just getting it out the way, there you go. So anyway, I'm gonna get out, get on out of here. Hope you enjoy. I will see you in the near future. I hope my mic isn't too static here because fuck, my mic's been an issue properly recently. Hopefully I'll get a new one soon. Goodbye.